Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. Um, before I begin, I would like to thank my viewers and everyone who has liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel. I would also like to thank those who have purchased a reading with me and to everyone who has commented on my videos. Thank you so much. This is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with you. If it does not, um, please check your moon and your rising sign for your messages. Um, this is for the last part of May, the last two weeks moving forward into June and beyond. And um, this is for the sign of Sagittarius. This reading seems to be more um, career, uh, career oriented and um, focused on security and finances. Um, we see here at the center that there is a celebration. And this is your overall energy. So with regards to whatever it is that uh, you are working on or towards, uh, I do see that there will be some sort of celebration with regards to that. Um, I feel that whatever burdens that you are experiencing or challenges in the moment that they are going to pass. Um, at the center of this reading we have the page of coins and pages are pretty much equal to aces. They do signify new beginnings. This one here brings good news with regards to the material tangible world, uh, particularly your finances. So good news about money. Uh, this page can also speak to um, lessons learned or learning things uh, in order to proceed with something. Perhaps you have to learn things for a new job or learn things uh, with regards to starting up a business. <coughs> I believe that uh, finances may be a bit of a challenge right now, but I do believe that there is good news. I do believe that that is going to pick up for you. Here we have our passionate uh, new beginning with the Ace of Wands. This is something you're very passionate about, whether this is a job, um, a relationship, or a project that you wish to start up. And we see that there are some struggles with it. You are working hard at it, and you're paying attention to details, but you are having to juggle here with this too. And because you're having to juggle, uh, I think that sometimes you may lose faith and, um, you know, uh, have second thoughts about the whole thing. And... This is a project or a person that you're, um, that it's very emotional for you. You're very attached to this uh, or to the potential outcome of this uh, new beginning. And you really, you want to take this leap of faith. Uh, but you are struggling here to get this going and you are drawing on your uh, strength to 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 get this going um, you are perhaps praying or have been asking God for answers or guidance and here you on both sides of this page, we have decision cards. We have the two of wands here to stay or go. And then we have uh, the chariot, which would be a choice between two paths. And we have the fool who's saying, take that risk, take that leap of faith. And the fool is walking right into that ace of cups. Follow your heart. 
That's what that says to me. Where, what is your heart telling you to do? And whatever that is, follow your heart. Because it won't steer you wrong. This could very possibly be uh, something that you started up in the past. Um, or this could be uh, someone from the past who is going to help you. Um, you realize here with the hanged man, but the hanged man's a card of waiting, a card of sacrifice, and you realize that there are uh, sacrifices that have to be made for greater gain uh, if you want this new beginning here. And this is a solid new beginning. Whatever it is you're starting up has a lot of potential. And you see the halo here around uh, his head. He is getting divine guidance. He is being divinely guided here. So look for signs. Look for synchronicities. The universe is trying to hand you something here. And again, head or heart decision about something that you're very passionate about. For me, this card here is going to speak of the need to take a risk, taking a risk on something. And this is something that has to do with your stability. And this is a long-lasting stability, something that stands the test of time. And our exit card is the Eight of Coins. And this says that there is success through your own efforts. This woman, she has it all. She's got the uh, financial security. Uh, she's got the nice home, the nice clothes. She's very confident. And she sits under this card here, the Ten. Home, family, security. So have faith. Know that whatever this is, you are being divinely guided towards this. You have three aces in your spread. You have the ace of wands, the ace of cups, and the ace of pentacles. This is a very nice spread. So have faith. Take that leap of faith. Uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I'm getting tired. Uh, take that leap of faith. So um, that's all I have for you, uh, Sagittarius. Um, if you'd like to book a reading, the details on how to do so are in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. Many blessings. Bye for now.